Hi, welcome to this tutorial for Adobe Dreamweaver. On uh, this tutorial, we're going to look at creating some styles for hyperlinks. Now, you've all seen uh, many websites where you, when you go over a link, um, it changes. Uh, it adds underline or it changes color or the link is different. Uh, once you click on it, it changes. Uh, and all that is creating with, uh, created with CSS. Now, here's what the code is going to look like at the end of this tutorial. So I have a body tag inside the CSS and some um, some tags for um, redefining the a tag in CSS. Now what's good to know is what's good yeah good to know is um, some um, basic of CSS um, before doing this tutorial. So you can check out uh, w3schools.com, which has lots of things on CSS, or check out some other tutorial with uh, basics of CSS. Now. Here's our final uh, product. So if I save it and look at it, here's our final products. And uh, I have a green link. And if I go over it, it changes. I click on it, it changes also slightly a slight color. And also you, you see that when I go over it, the underline goes away. So click, comes back here. So now there's uh, those websites like Google, which don't have any styles really to it. Just plain old blue and just an underline. And you have those websites like Yahoo, which they do have some styles with their links. Where you go over it, it uh, there is um, the underlining goes on as you go over it. And if you click, nothing happens. So here's basically what we have. Now let's go back to Dreamweaver. And I'm going to delete everything here. And this style. And here we have a simple link. Now, here's our link. I'm um, not going to create it, it's just simple. You just type in and create your link, or you can code it. So here we go, you have a link. Now what we need to do is create those style tags inside the head tags in the code. So I'm just going to go to this code view and between the meta tag and the title I'm going to create a new style tag. And a uh, space and you type, type in type equals double quote text CSS. Close the tag and here you go. So between those two style tags, we're going to put all of our CSS. So first, what I like to do is really redefine the body tag. So I'm going to redefine the body tag. And just for this um, tutorial, I'm just going to um, redefine the, the font family. And I'm more like it to be Verdana semicolon and just the size I want it to be four pixels just for you to see. Okay, so now let's go to the real content which is doing the CSS for the um hyperlink. So we redefine the A tag, but the A tag is broken down into different categories. There is the link the visited, the hover, and the active. Now what the link is, is basically how the the hyperlink looks like when you don't do anything to it. So you're just on the, sitting here on the web page and nothing happens. So it's basically just a color, maybe on the line. So let's do this and create our a comma link, which is the a tag, the link category with. And what I like my links to look like is I like them to be the same when the the link and after you clicked on them. So for this, you just put a comma and a comma visited. So what uh, we're going to define here is going to be uh, for the link and the visited visited link. So now we need to redefine maybe the color so comma and I want my color to be this um, 
green here semicolon and I like my links to be uh, maybe underlined so gonna text hyphen decoration comma on uh, not comma uh, count uh, underline semicolon so now what we did is we changed the color and we want it to be underlined so now if we go to split view we see that it is green and underlined so now let's redefine this hover text so when we go over it nothing happens so let's redefine it let's basically go a a hover say a column hover and you're gonna redefine what put some styles to it so I want the color to be different and I want my color to be maybe this uh, orange semicolon and because the hover will look exactly the same as the link I don't want the underline anymore so I'm just gonna go text decoration and I want it to be none semicolon now if we look at this we just save it and look at it here see that you go over it it changes so it's gone the one underline so now what we need to do is uh, redefine the style of when it's uh, clicked when you click on it how it's gonna look like so for this is a active so when you click on it and let's redefine this and so a active and I want the color to be different just a color and the a active is gonna be exactly as the, the same as the hover if you do, don't change anything and I want the a active to be maybe the sun uh, split red go red and some icon so now if we save and look at it we see that you just go over changes you click it changes color it comes back here so that's really what uh, what's gonna it's for the end of it it's simple coding simple CSS uh, don't need to create just a bring a new uh, CSS file for this just stick it into the HTML, the HTML file and it's real simple coding and it's pretty straightforward I think so that's the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time for another tutorial for Photoshop um, Dreamweaver or Java or VB it depends on what the next tutorial is going to be alright see you next time